When the mind kill comes, you will likely have forgotten everything about your own life before entering the post mind kill environment. But everything that has become intuition, everything you've made a part of your inner self, the threat is unable to erase. Therefore, it's important to train until the training becomes so natural that you give it no thought. Correct usage of your firearm has to become as natural as breathing for there to be any chance of success. It is vital that you know that you are not dreaming. This is real. This is the time you have prepared for. You have seen the signs around you. The gradual creeping, decay, and dysfunction. You have realized that something is wrong with the media and the people around you. You know that you are different. This is why you are ready to become a receiver. You have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system for advancing inside by continually listening to these tapes you will drown out and eventually counteract the negative influences in your environment once you have absorbed these tapes you will have taken the first step towards awakening your true self the media is a threat we have a technique to help these tapes as part of this technique you must listen to them in advance. I can't take this meaningless existence anymore. There's no point to anything. We're just killing time until the heat death of the universe. Nobody will remember us. Nobody cares if, if, if I live or die. All of humanity is just mold on an orange. I don't even know why I'm writing this. Goodbye.
When fighting in low light conditions, you can use the Harry's technique. To do this, hold your firearm straight out in front of you with your dominant hand. Then hold the flashlight in your off hand with an ice pick grip and press the backs of your hands firmly together with the light facing forwards. This provides some stabilizing isometric tension, allowing you to control recoil more effectively than shooting with one hand alone, though still worse than firing with a two-handed grip. The world of the mind stretches far to the horizon. In this space, it's tempting to dwell in the past or explore possible futures. Attention splits from one distant idea to the next, visiting 100 unlikely scenarios, spreading thinner and thinner. This is the unfocused mind. Sharp focus is always concentrated on the present moment. What action do you have to take right now? Each new moment necessitates the next thought and action in a correct sequence. U.S. Marine Colonel Jeff Cooper's first rule of gun safety is that guns are always loaded. Even if you've just unloaded it seconds ago or seen someone else do it, treat it as if it's still loaded. You may know that it's empty, but you must practice your mind tech threading and believe both facts at once. Unless you are currently seeing and feeling that the chamber is empty, the weapon is in a state of quantum uncertainty, controlled by the threat. In that state, if you point it at a kill drone and fire, the threat will collapse that waveform into an empty chamber, leading to a click instead of a bang. If your kid finds the same gun and points it at another kid, the threat will collapse that waveform into a loaded chamber, leading to a bang instead of a click. Never ever let the threat make this kind of decision for you.
Together, we have laid the foundation. You have shown great potential, but the potential is yet to be realized. We have sent the message. Can you hear it? There is an insidious force moving through your media, weakening the mind and causing widespread dysfunction. We call this the threat. We have developed a technique called mind tech to combat this threat. A new set of tapes has been issued to train and to prepare you. This is my last will and testament. I leave my car to Claire. It has the service light on, but it runs okay. I hope it helps you more than I ever did. Whatever's uh, left in my bank account can go to my dad. He can decide what to do with it. Um, to whoever finds this, uh, just put my body in the trash. It's where I belong.
While waiting for the other branches to agree on the requirements for the new M9 pistol, the Air Force decided to conduct their own trials, and decided on the Beretta 92. Uh, right? Wrong. The Army rejected the Air Force testing, claiming the Flyboys had no idea how to properly test reliability in mud and sand. The Army was perfectly happy with their 1911s, so when they conducted their own trials, they found that none of the new pistols were good enough, and tried to shut the whole program down. The Air Force still wanted their new pistols, and got the DoD to force the Army to conduct yet another test, and choose something. After further testing, the Army reluctantly admitted that the Beretta 92 and the Sig Sauer 226 might be adequate. Now, the Sig scored better, but Beretta named a lower price and won the contract. After seven years and millions of taxpayer dollars, the U.S. finally got its new service pistol, the Beretta M9. Uh, the U.S. also got three more years of congressional investigations to determine how we managed to screw this whole thing up so badly. The threat will not need to kill us if it can get us to shoot each other. Now, instances of misidentification are common in firearm-related accidents, resulting in dead friends and family. This often happens in situations with poor visibility. We are unsure what the post-mine kill environment will be like, so it's critical to positively identify, or, or PID, your targets. This is why you need to flashlight available. Imagine this scenario. You're woken up by a crash in the night, and you take out your gun to investigate. You see a shadowy figure lurching towards you. You open fire, and it's down on the ground. You're a hero. You defended your household. Or did you? For all you know, it was a family member stumbling around in the dark. Or your neighbor got drunk and thought your house was his. Or, you know, a police officer read the address wrong on a warrant. In the dark, a gun without a flashlight is worse than useless. Recipe for tragedy. This tape is designed to test your focus in the face of distraction. Maintain focus on your breathing. How did you do? If your attention wandered, that is normal. Just notice that without judgment. Let's try again. Good job.
are finally prepared to hear this message. You see reality painted in shades of black. Beyond your world is another, bathed in radiant light. We have reached out to you with a warning. If you are able to hear our message, you are one of the few that we can help. We call you receivers. The receiver who is speaking these words was chosen because he is able to hear us with exceptional clarity. With time, you too could learn this mind tech, but time is not something we have. There is a threat to everyone on your planet, and they have been weakening your mind through your media, lowering your natural defenses. The coming attack is unavoidable. All we can do is prepare. This building, this doesn't make much sense. Like, wh while I know this isn't the same room as before, it still feels familiar. It's more like a, a fictional place than the real world. It's, oh, it's like someone made copies of, of copies and lost the original intent of all the objects uh, long ago. If you are listening to this tape, it means you have survived the mind kill. Previous attempts to listen to this tape would have found it blank, but now it contains immediate instructions of your difficult path forward. This is the time that we have prepared for. Take a moment now to find your firearm. Some of you will be familiar with firearms from our training camp, but more recent receivers will have focused on mind tech in order to survive the mind kill event. Uh, in either case, please uh, take a moment to confirm that the firearm you have been issued is in working order and has one full magazine. You have also been issued uh, one tape deck with headphones and two AA batteries. Once you have checked your equipment, leave the safe cell, keep moving, and be careful. The threat will have dreamed kill drones near your location. Threat has been using the media to weaken our minds. They pit us against one another, overload us with meaningless information, and make us cynical and apathetic. 
The only defense is to train the mind and awaken from this anesthetic fog. When the mind kill comes, only those with the proper mind tech will remain. These few will be the only bridge left to the world as we know it. If you really want to be sure that a gun will fire when you pull the trigger, you need to do a press check. Make sure your finger is off the trigger and pull back the slide with your supporting hand. Uh, calm down, John Wick, just enough to see if there's a cartridge in the chamber. If there is, make sure the slide goes back into battery. This means the gun is ready. If not, you can just keep pulling the slide back all the way and then release it to strip around from the magazine. Then repeat the check in case your mag spring is damaged and failed to feed, or is fitted incorrectly.
are on the edge of something much greater. Under ideal circumstances, it is now possible that you could survive the mind game. Conditions will not be ideal. Similar to the training with firearms, your mental defenses need to become second nature, moving smoothly and acting with purpose towards your goals, rather than stumbling, reactive, and predictable. Once you have mastered these techniques, it will allow you to achieve the next stage. The heavy eyelid of your mind's eye flickers. Soon you will awaken. Humans are unique in their ability to exist so deeply in both reality A and B. If the mind kill is successful, humans will be scattered or ab absorbed into the greater whole, their potential forever unknown. In the glowing light of reality A, humans, like all beings, are part of something infinite. In this way, they also contain fractal multitudes. To be the self and also part of the self seems like a contradiction. Like a particle being a wave or a superposition of states, this contradiction is true. Over millennia, your unique structure grew and formed. Your existence in reality A is vast. It is complex. If it is dissolved, nothing like it may ever form again. Pumpkin. Don't come in the garage. Call your mommy. She will know uh, what to do. Please, please don't go in the garage. It's, it's off limits. Love, Daddy.
This is the first insight. In order to fully awaken, you must accept it. Until now, you thought you were playing a game, that you could turn it off. Now, this idea has been implanted by the threat. In fact, the threat has expanded to the reality outside of the game. We call this Reality C. The threat has been influencing what you see and hear until you can't tell what is fictional and, and what is real. This is the first of three insights. After you accept the third insight, you will hear a tone and you will awaken.
If you have accepted that the threat is real, there is hope that you can hear insight to and awaken to your true nature. Reality A transcends and overlaps realities B and C. This is how the threat has spread to all aspects of reality. Accepting that the threat is real in the world outside of you may seem difficult because through an inversion of values, the threat has led you to believe that reality C is more real than reality A. This is how it subverts your defenses and attacks you where you are vulnerable. To awaken, you have to accept that reality A expands beyond your life outside of the game. Open your mind's eye and you can see it. This luminous reality is where you have constructed the mind tech you need to defend yourself and combat the threat. Only the final insight remains. Once you accept it, you will hear a tone and you will awaken. If you accept that the threat is real and that reality A is the true reality, then you are ready for the final insight. We have sent you this message to warn and prepare you, and you have listened. In reality C, you have sat in your chair at your computer, yet in reality A, your astral self has struggled and overcome many challenges. Open your mind's eye to see the mind tech you have built. They are heavy and intricate with each component, perfectly formed and in its right place. Functional, resilient. You stand ready to use these tools against the threat. In order to awaken, you have to accept this final insight. These struggles in Reality A are real and have fully prepared you. Reality B has been this message. This message was a systemic process. This process was an initiation. You have completed this initiation. You are now a receiver.